In photography, we use a lot of accessories. Maybe your favorite accessory can be the filters, the flash, uh, monopod, who knows? There are a lot of accessories. In my case, my favorite accessory and the accessory I most use is a tripod. In this video, I will show you some tips and hacks to get the best out of your tripod and avoid all this blurry image you thought you never will get using a tripod. Hi, I'm Mario Kilian and welcome back to another video. If I'm putting my tripod over a hard surface, a concrete surface, of course there will be not a problem. But that's not always the situation we confront in different parts we want to take a good photo. So sometimes we think we are over a solid surface, but that's not true. Just a little vibration can blur our image if we are taking a long exposure photo. If we are on vacation on a wonderful beach and we want to take a long exposure on an amazing photo of the ocean and the beach, we have to put our tripod over the sand. And the sand is the most unstable surface you can imagine. So a good idea is to use these old CDs and put it on your legs and that will get a much more stable surface so that you don't have to worry about the motion blur. Even if you think that you are on a solid surface, just the cars passing behind me generates some vibrations that can blur your image. So the best is to choose a place in where the surface is more solid, maybe on the edge of this dam. If you're like me and always carrying a tripod in the trunk of your car, make sure that every time you use it, check all the tightness of any screw and any part of your tripod. Do the thermal expansion and the movement of the car. In a couple of weeks, all the screws can get loose. So check it at least once every three weeks. Of course, always check the tightness of any screw and the legs of your tripod. Make you sure that everything is very tight and that nothing can get loose. I always carry with me this wrench to make me sure that everything is strong and firm. Be sure that the mounting plate is tight to the camera. I always carry with me a coin so I can tight it very hard to the camera. Now that the wind is coming out, but not a so strong wind, I need to add weight to my tripod. So it's a good time to use the hook. I put some stones in this pocket and that adds some weight and stabilizes more this tripod. Under windy conditions, always take off this strap. They only will generate vibrations and movements to or tripod. These are not good this time. But now that the wind is getting stronger and stronger, I use this climbing rope. So that will add a lot of tightness to the wall tripod. As higher your tripod is, as unstable it is. So consider if it is possible always to retract the center column. If you have to get lower to have more stable your tripod, get out the skinniest leg first. As lower as stable. Always keep the weight in the center. If you want to take a vertical or a portrait image, of course you can turn the ball head this way, but that will keep the major weight to one of the sides of the tripod. The best is to use a L bracket. So I can leave always the weight in the center of the tripod. If you love long time exposures, never touch your camera. Any touching of your camera can create some vibration. The best is to use these remote shutter relays. You can already use the timer, the two seconds, the five seconds or the 10 seconds timer to shoot your long exposure. And if you're using a DSLR camera, don't forget to look up the mirror before you take the picture. Even 
the flipping up of the mirror can create some vibration that can blur your long time exposure. Every tripod comes with his accessories. If you are in a sleepy place, use these spikes. That will be the best to have your legs tied to the ground. Other point that can blur your long time exposure is to use the eye match stabilization of your lens. If you're using a third party lens, consider better to turn off the image stabilization. And of course, all equipment has its limits. Don't think about to use a tripod to take a long exposure with a 600 millimeters telephoto over it. You can use the tripod to take a photo with a, with a big zoom, but not a long time exposure. So always think about the limits of your tripod. And so, and the last is to say thank you. Thank you to Membili. They sent me this amazing carbon fiber tripod I have used to do this video. This carbon tripod is absolutely amazing. It has a twist legs, it's very stable, it's very strong. So I'm very happy with it. It is already very light, less than one and a half kilograms. And I have used it to my last trips and it's really a perfect tripod. So I can only recommend it to you. And so that's all for today. I really hope you like this video. Maybe you consider to give it a like and subscribe so you will not miss any other of my videos. Now go out and take your best long time exposure photos with your tripod. I know you can. See you on the next video. Bye bye. I've got a